What's good, YouTube? This is Faraday Kings. Today we're going to discuss EA Sports College Football 25. Before we get started, I want to read a disclaimer. This video is for entertainment purposes only. The information provided has not been verified and comes from anonymous sources. Please assume that the source of this information could have come from a work in progress build of EA Sports College Football 25. This afternoon, Mike Straw from Mike Straw Media released some information on his Twitch site. If you want to watch the full video, you can view it at twitch.tv forward slash Mike Straw Media. This is a brief synopsis of his 45-minute video. Mike Straw of InsiderGaming.com posted on Twitter this afternoon. Thanks, everyone. Quick recap what I've been told. EA Sports is all in on the series with the goal of it becoming yearly. Option offense plays a big role in gameplay. A lot was developed for it. Wear and tear is more noticeable in longer games and with more sim play style. You will be able to tell the difference between higher recruited stars and smaller players on the field. And I believe I interpret that to mean five-star players play different than two-star players. That seems to be the recurring theme that you hear over and over throughout his video breakdown. I compare it to playing Madden, where you would have 97, 98, 99 overall players compared to bronze players in Ultimate Team. You're going to tell the difference. Better players play faster. They're bigger. They're stronger. They push people all over the field. That's what I'm assuming he's talking about. Better players, five-star players, play better. He also discussed how he received this information. He has some confidential sources that have shared information about other video games in the past. He referenced posting EA Sports UFC game footage that was taken down due to DMCA. He had posted the footage before, and when you do this with EA Sports, you always have to sign an NDA, and those are signed in advance, a standard protocol. I used to receive copies of the game early when I did rosters for EA NCAA football back in the past, and I couldn't discuss player ratings, team ratings. I couldn't post pictures of the rosters, anything. Mike has viewed actual game footage of EA Sports College Football 25. It was a, an Army clip showing the option in RPOs. He's sharing information about gameplay. He's trying to avoid re revealing his sources, so he's got to be a little bit coy talking about this because he can't go in great detail because if he does talk about too much. EA is going to know where he got the information from. They're only sending out clips to uh, a limited amount of individuals, so it's not a big circle. They kind of would know if he gave too much information who the source would, and it would get them in trouble, and then he wouldn't have that reference moving forward in the future. Now, he did discuss option offenses and RPLs. That will be a focus this year. EA has worked on several new animations for the college football game. The speed of the option offense is noticeable. You can sense it in how the O-line and wide receivers block. You'll notice the dynamic relationship between quarterbacks and running backs and their pitch relationship. He doesn't have any idea, though, about X-Factors and abilities that wasn't discussed. He did say, though, that player abilities are noticeable between a two-star versus a five-star player. The overall ratings is significant. Good players feel different. You will notice the physical differences, the mechanics of a good player, cutting and moving and all that. He said wear and tear is noticeable as well. They are still tweaking it. It's not perfect, but you will notice that a player breaks a 75-yard touchdown run he will be noticeably fatigued if he doesn't get a break. So stamina is also a factor. This is more significant in longer games. Also, online dynasty. This is a big one. There is not going to be cross-play compatible. The reason is because they had too many other things to focus on. So gameplay was more important in dynasty, making sure that played well. They put cross-play on the back burner. Now, in the modes that you can actually use cross-play, though, it is good. Play a friend, ultimate team, road to the college football playoff. It was it played well. Mascot mode, people have asked about it. He has not witnessed mas not, mascot mode. He wasn't told anything about it. It would be a surprise if it made it into the game. More information could be coming very soon. Could be more details this week because EA community leaders are in Orlando right now. Cro uh, college football will play faster than Madden. He's noticed that. More significant animations will appear in college football and not in Madden. More equipments in college football that won't appear in Madden. There will be differences between CFB and Madden. There will be a lot more similar tackle animations in both games. I mean, EA didn't reinvent the wheel. 
Tackling is tackling. They already have a gameplay engine. They're going to use it. So you're going to see similarities between both games. They didn't build this from scratch. They're using the same similar engine they've had for years. So you're going to see a lot of stuff that you've already seen in the past in Madden. But he said this tackling animations that they currently have, though, did look pretty smooth. He was pretty impressed with it. So we'll see more of that as gameplay footage gets rolled out here in the next coming weeks. Hopefully by the end of this week, we'll have a little bit more input. So we'll we'll see where that leads us. Uh, I'm interested to see if there's chain animations as far as tackling is concerned. If there's going to be guys piling on and you'll have multiple guys trying to bring down players, how players fight for extra yardage. Those will all be significant adds to this game uh, that, that gives that little attention to detail. I don't know what, what route they're going. We haven't seen information on tackling, but I'm sure that they'll probably discuss it more in depth here in the coming weeks. Now, ESPN game day doesn't appear to be in the game. He's waiting for confirmation, but it hasn't been hyped up. They haven't really mentioned it. Apparently, the individual talent like Kirk Herbstreit, Chris Fowler negotiated individual deals with EA Sports as opposed to ESPN deal. The speed difference, again, he's mentioned this, is significant between college football and Madden. There are plenty of different animations for catching the ball compared to Madden. One foot in versus two feet in. Road to glory, waiting for confirmation if you're going to start that mode in high school or as a freshman in college. People have asked about coordinators, waiting for confirmation if you're going to start as a coordinator and work your way up. You know, through the uh, through the build all the way up to a head coach, coaching carousel doesn't know if it's not available or just hasn't been mentioned. Campus IQ gameplay is going to be noticeable. Large schools versus small schools will be uh, more difficult. College football is not a foundation game, though. These won't be watered down modes. It is a start for the college football twenty five or college football franchise moving forward. They're banking on dynasty and road to glory to have great replay value. There has been a lot of focus on dynasty mode, recruiting, offseason. It's deep. He doesn't believe there's online co-op. Still has to be determined. The plan is to release this game annually. Co- custom conferences is unknown. He does know there's no BCS, though. This is the playoff error. They're going to sit there and encourage that. He's been told there's a difference, of course. I mentioned it's a theme. Five-star players better than two-star players. He mentioned about the transfer portal and NIL. You will have to manage your roster. There's no answer on X factors and abilities right now. Presentation of the pregame is there. You see them running out, but it doesn't appear game day is on the game. ESPN scorebook is not noticeable right now. More information could be released this week. Draft class exports to be determined. Custom playbooks. Yes, there will be custom playbooks. So you'll be able to go in and modify the playbooks according to your gameplay and how you want to sit there and create your playbook. If you're a guy who wants to focus on the run, you're going to have that ability to to focus on the run with some of those playbooks. If you want to run a wide open offense, I'm sure they're going to have playbooks that are going to be heavy in shotgun and four and five wide, maybe even pistol. Team builder is going to be pretty basic. They haven't gone into great detail on that. They just want to get it out. That'll be the start. And then they'll build on it in future iterations of the game. Injury animations to be determined, but there's going to be injuries in dynasty. There always is. So we might see some little animations in there with injuries. Celebrations after big plays. Yes, there will be, celebrations we've already seen it in the trailer you're looking at alabama and the turnover belt we've seen pitt dunking the football in the in the portable go so yes that is in there weather's going to be better this year uh you're going to see that might not be significant to the fact that people want but it will be in the game roster editors you should be able to edit rosters for creative school it's unknown right now though if you're going to be able to edit the quote-unquote real players already in the game now uh, I know you probably won't be able to definitely edit their names if, if it's just halfback 25. Uh, gameplay does look smooth. There are players that won't have their likeness in the game, though. All the biggest stars are supposed to be in the game. Not everyone's opted in. For example, Arch Manning hasn't opted in. It'll be interesting to see how they incorporate the service academies, Army, Navy, and Air Force without NIL deals. It'll also be interesting to see how they bring in the freshmen. You know, if they're not on campus yet, have they been able to sign NIL deals? Will a true freshman be on the game? Uh, He thought blocking looked good, but it could be tweaked. He specifically viewed Army's um, gameplay and option plays. He said tackling looked good. Mentioned that before. Um, If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about the upcoming releases of EA Sports College Football 25, please hit like and subscribe. 
I also want to emphasize this information originating with Mike Straw of InsiderGaming.com. Please follow him at Mike Straw Media. I will have more information, though. If it leaks out at the end of this week, we'll post more videos. Make sure that you follow me uh, on Twitter at Fairdale Kings. Come back to this site at Fairdale Kings on YouTube. And once I get some uh, videos up, that will be found at Fairdale Kings TV on Twitch. Fairdale Kings out.